Hello, my name is Joe Diefenbacher. Welcome to How to Learn Slapstick. In this video, you'll learn how to fall off a chair in comic ways and find eccentric variations. Chair falls can be tricky, so study and learn the proper technique to avoid banging your body on the chair. Let's get started. With a chair fall, the thing most likely to happen is that your back will land on the chair as you fall. So you use your feet and your legs to clear your body away from the chair as you fall. Imagine walking backwards in a low squat and your body knocking the chair back. This is the basic technique. Watch how I walk backwards and use my body to knock the chair to the floor. And I keep walking to clear the chair before I fall. Another safety is to grab the seat of the chair as you fall. This way you can control where the chair lands. Reach back with your hand to help catch yourself and always land on your butt first and then roll out. These are safety techniques to help protect your back. Another safety technique is to lean forward as you fall, and this will help you to control your momentum. When sitting on a chair this way, as the chair starts to tilt and you fall towards the floor, you turn your body and catch yourself in a plank or push-up position. Then you roll out of the fall. Notice how I step out as I fall. This creates a wider stance in the plank and helps protect my knees and my pelvis. This way, you clear the chair and you don't land on it. As the chair tilts, you reach out with your hands away from the chair so you don't bang your elbows. And when you hit the floor, your hands pull your body away from the chair. When sitting in the chair this way, the technique is similar. You step back with your feet to walk your body away from the chair. Keep your hands on the back of the chair so it doesn't fall down and hit you in a sensitive spot. Also, reach back with your hands to catch yourself as you fall. Imagine wiping off the bottom of your shoe on the chair. That's basically the technique for the chair slip. You're sliding your foot across the chair and catching your weight with the leg that steps. You can also use the chair to catch your weight. Just be careful you don't bang your knees. Once you have the technique, play with different ways you can fall or sit on the chair after the slip. In this sequence, I'm looking at ways to turn the step slip into a chair sit. I take it slow, figuring out ways to catch myself with the chair so when I speed up, I stay safe. Practicing this sequence leads me to other possibilities, such as kicking back in the chair and then sliding down and collapsing. I then realized I could do a step slip to a sit to a front fall. Start slow and work through each move, from the slip to the sit to the fall. Once you feel you have the sequence and the technique, speed it up. You can also stall the fall by balancing on the back legs of the chair before you tip over and do the fall.
Here's the step slip into a side sit and then the chair fall. The chair fall is a great technique to learn because there's almost always a chair in the room to improvise with, and it's a great prop for developing slapstick choreography when you combine it with trips, slips, slides, and falls. Before you go, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell icon. That way you'll know whenever a new video is posted. I teach workshops all over the world in slapstick, clown, physical theater, mask performance, and commedia dell'arte. To hire me for a workshop, as a director, or to book one of my shows, please contact me by email. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram.